In this tutorial, I'll be addressing a bug that exists in the current version of Inkscape, where converting a stroke to a path gives you a different result than what you expect. And to show you what I mean, I have this simple four-point shape that is a stroke, and if I convert this stroke to a path, you can see what happens. We end up with a broken shape. Now this is not what's supposed to happen, so I would imagine this is some kind of bug in the software. Now the Inkscape team is usually good with addressing these sorts of things, so I'm sure this will be ironed out in the next update, but in this tutorial I just want to show you a simple fix for this. So let me press Ctrl Z to undo what I did there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the object, and now before I convert it to a stroke, I will go to Path, and I will select Reverse. And now, if I go to path and select stroke to path, you can see we end up with the result as intended. Now, I don't know much about the back end of this software and how this sort of thing works, but I would imagine it has something to do with how the start and end point of a path is defined, because the reverse function is normally only used when we place text on a path and we want to define whether the text goes on the outside of the path or the inside of the path. But in this instance, it's also useful here as well. Another thing you can do you can also flip the object. So if I were to press the letter H on my keyboard and flip it horizontally, that will also work the same way. And I would imagine because it reverses the path the same way path reverse does. And then after that, you could just press H again, and then it's back to the starting point. So that should do it for today's video. I just wanted to get this fix out there in case you were encountering this problem and it was frustrating you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.